Oh, look at you getting out of position. What's up with your health? Oh, that's the trick that I really love about Scotty. Look at this. He's dead. He doesn't even know it yet. But I can tank it like that. Five hits from the tower is a lot. Oh man, you cannot fight me. You just, you just can't. You gotta run. Mm, what's happening here? Oh, you're dead again. <laughs> He's never learning. What is up, beautiful people? It's Felidin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Scotty in mid, and I'm coming here by Rider Dosker to see your Master's Rank Conquest. So we're playing again what looks like an Arachne or Erlang Sheng in Raijin in mid. That's pretty nice. Uh, Scotty mid, very, very fucking strong. You're gonna see it. I love playing Scotty lately. Just before, she wasn't even in my gut pull. I just kinda. Kinda hate her a little bit, but I figured out that she's very, very effective mid. We're gonna clear this wave, probably out clear Raijin if we do it properly, because we have a Calder. And as soon as we do that, we apply a lot of pressure. Yeah, he's focusing on the Calder, which is a wrong thing to do. He's gonna try and poke me out. But now, my man, let's box it out. Oh, you gotta run. Oh, you gotta run. Oh, you cannot run. Yep, Calder. Good stuff. And... Oh! Sorry, just popping my Aegis here. He has to run now. My shit's coming back up. He's in trouble. As soon as Ratatusker comes in, he missed the stun, which is unfortunate. But we still keep killing. And that's a double kill. Like I was saying, Scotty, very, very strong early game. I don't want to risk it to go for the enemy red. It's not worth it. We got a huge lead here and I don't want to waste it. Because we're both poked out and they're both coming back. So it's Erlang Cheng in the jungle. I thought it was going to be Arachne. We also have the Ymir in solo lane, surprisingly, but that's fine. At this point, we have a huge advantage. We do a lot of damage from autos. Raijin still has no jump and he's walking past me. Hello, Raijin. Yeah, I don't know what this man was thinking. He should have ran. I, I knew because if he had his jump, he would have had it in the last fight. And I know he's still level two. He didn't level it up. So going all in there was a good choice. We had a wave, we had caller, we have a cooldowns. He is in big trouble right now. I want to back, but I also want to back for full boots. So we're going to wait a little bit, ward up, just to make sure we don't get caught. He is still level two, still no jump. We're level four. Oh, my man, you're in trouble. Ah, oh, that didn't reach. He should take his three on the next level up. But if he doesn't, I can get him again. Gonna back for full boots. Gonna get, go for attack speed boots. Despite her being ability based, I just find that too much attack speed on the attack speed boots. It's always worth it to go attack speed. So we're almost level five. He's level three. If he went for another level up on his clear, he's in deep trouble as soon as I hit that old because he's gonna be dead again. Calder, pretty thank you for the minions, by the way, uh, when they fixed it. Can I kill him here? Does he have a jump? He doesn't have a jump. Oh, my man. What you doing? <laughs> okay, Erlang Shane, I'm ready to fight. Let's go, baby. Oh, you're slow. You're slow. What's up? I'm gonna block some attacks with our Calder. Ratatoster's coming in. The stun finally lands, and we got another double. This looks like a stump. I think they're gonna surrender at 10, unfortunately. That happens a lot when I play Skydy, by the way. She's very strong early game. And a lot of people underestimate her drastically and just... Yeah. And they just have to surrender at 10. We're trying to tank a little bit with Calder to take less damage because we're poked out. Can't get caught here. Not gonna lie, if Raijin was expecting, but he's level 4, so there's only that much he can do, and I still have my Aegis. Looks like Orlang ganked the left lane. Raijin might have rotated there, but like he's level 4, 
it's not very comfortable for him to rotate. He already did enough misplays, so he's probably gonna play it safe from now on. Just gonna focus on the clear. He's trying to poke me out. He's really, really mad. He's trying to make me lose some gold. Looks like he remembered that we have Rattatoskar in the jungle, but he's not paying attention to the fact that he's in dual lane. Just gonna back for some healing and tier 2 transcendence and some words. We missed one minion off of that back, which is almost perfect. He was pushing like a madman because he wanted to back. He's level 6 now, so he has an ult, he's a threat. But we're still out farming him by two levels. Insta clear on the wave at level 8, feels good. Nothing to steal from their farm, so we're just gonna try and poke him out. I'm gonna ult immediately here. He just... He was just back from the lane, I wanted to poke him out a little stronger here. Did not quite succeed. Prolong is looking for a blink, so we're gonna straight up go this way. Lose the vision on him, he doesn't know where I am. Hello Raijin, what you doing? Oh, yeah, that delay on the Raijin jump, he has no idea. That's more like lucky and unfortunate for him. Hmm, Sobek is trying to steal that unsuccessfully not a bad play by so big but his sick uh, sickle strike wasn't hard enough to steal that so he's still level five after all i need to back away here we're gonna block the pluck with the calder if he tries to pluck me the calder will catch it and nothing good will come of it they're looking for poke they're looking for anything to allow their mid laner to come back but it's not happening pretty safe here we're gonna clear that up they're rotating so we have to join that fight look at the raijin getting out of position in front of me like that after i killed him so many times yeah he's getting zoned down by calder at this point hello Orlong, what you doing he's waiting for his dash that's not gonna happen you're back up here shibalanki is here actually i can murder all of them raijin's behind us ulting good ult he got the Kronos. I think he got the Sobek though. Just body block him. Body. Oh. He still manages to get out, but it's not gonna work well for him. I wanted to back for full trance, but that fight was just too good to back during. Now we can safely back because all the enemies are in base. We now have full trance. We're hitting like a truck. We're 7 0 and 1, nearing that divine state <laughs> very soon. We're gonna build straight into execution here and negating any life steal because Scotty is a physical mage and that's how mostly she works. Oh, look at you getting out of position. What's up with your health? Oh, that's the trick that I very love about Scotty. Look at this. He's dead. He doesn't even know it yet. But I can tank it like that. Five hits from the tower is a lot. Oh man, you cannot fight me. You just, you just can't. You gotta run. Mm, what's happening here? Oh, you're dead again. <laughs> He's never learning. I'm not gonna lie, Rat Tusker helped me out there a bit, but there's a good chance that that still might have worked out without him. But it's good to have a jungler. Looks like we get an ult in mid. Our support is doing... Forest is doing that alone for some reason. Well, he got the Raijin ult, I guess. He panicked a little bit. There was no reason to do that. Maybe if he taunted the horse under the tower. But, I mean, he still should have gone out pretty easily. So that was just a wasted ult. Gonna go for a red buff. It's there. We have a calder. Can mark through the walls pretty easily. Just to make sure that the stuff is there. Not to waste some crucial seconds because my wave is getting into the tower. I think they're doing the right mids, nothing I can do about that right now, we need that experience, but we can catch him tripping over here, there he is, just get some more poke, ah, that's a wasted all, but we can still kill, thank you Calder, that's the thing, that's, you cannot be safe from the Scotty in mid, it's too short of a lane and tower, 5 hits on the tower is an eternity when you're in mid, and look, this tower is going down fast. I love Scotty mid, my man. They're just, just, it's so potent. 
so much pressure so much diving potential if you're not focusing calder when i'm diving your tower you're most probably dead if you put yourself in a situation when you cannot fight me back and cannot attack calder i'm just gonna walk into your tower and kill you uh he should have wards here but i'm still gonna catch him yeah that's him oh that reached we would have went for the kill but as you can see we can still tank with a calder that forces his ult out I'm in a bad spot. Okay, I'm in a very bad spot. Yeah, I I, I I put myself into that, so it's totally on me. Kronos couldn't have done anything. Well, we were divine. Uh, unfortunately, that gave a lot of gold to Erlang Cheng and enemy Shibalanki. So there's a big fight in dual lane, but they must disengage. And I must focus on the... Oh, hello there. He dashed out. Otherwise, I would have killed them with my ult. We can still catch him. I'm very, very speedy. Can we still catch him? No, if I ult here, it's not gonna stick. So that'll be a wasted ult. These boys are still pushing up and their jungler got forced out, even though Arachne's coming this way. Yep, just gonna grab him. Oh, Sobek ulted prematurely. That was a good play. I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm absolutely dead here. The whole team rotated and Kronos in middle lane asleep again. Overall, the fight went pretty well for us. Not as bad as I pl I thought it would be. We lost a, a lot of advantages and a lot of kill streaks, so that's a lot of return growth for the enemy team. But a lot of kills on their team as well. Overall, con considering how well behind they were, the rotation from Arachne way over from the solo lane to dual lane. Worked out really well for them, but overall the fight was still on us. And Shibalanki is getting forced out. We have an in on the Gold Fury pretty easily. I can tank with my Calder. Well, five hits, a lot of damage, but I wanna wanna take him back and put him back because he is a lot of damage that I do. Apparently that doesn't work because I for a split second I forgot how Gold Fury works. Gold Fury aggro works in what not what what aggro is the first then if it enters back it gets the aggro back so i kind of wanted to save the, savor that damage from the calder but as soon as i activated him again he got murdered it's fine since i'm an adc in mid uh we can do that gold fury without crones participating arachne is forced out so we're attacking fire giant pretty easily he ults out he asks for attacking fire giant and ults out immediately. <laughs> I, I could have killed that Arachne. That Raijin, what is he doing? Calder is tanking for me, so I lose no damage on that objective. My team is securing it for me. So we're just gonna finish it off. And we can go for the big boy here. If my team joins me. There you go. I'm at ADC. I don't give a shit that the Cronus is a potato. Which is gonna take the objectives. Shibalonk is in left. Uh, everybody on their team either wasted ults or dead, so pretty safe fire giant here. Gonna get some presence in the solo lane. Looks like we're losing tier two. Which is unfortunate. That's a lot of gold for the enemy team. Look at that good boy. Oh! I'm just gonna back here. I don't care. So we we did lose uh, tier two, but we got the return kill. So I guess that's fine. Rat the Tosker picks up my red, probably on accident. So we're not gonna dwell on that too much. We can collapse in these boys, but it looks like I'm the only one realizing that. We got one. It's fine. Don't pluck me. Well, you're dead now. Come on, Calder. Come on. Oh, he got the shell. Arachne's totally going for me. Gonna try my best to not die here, but yeah, everybody's collapsing on me. And we have two people in dual lane for no reason whatsoever. I got a pretty huge lead over here, so the enemy team started to collapse in on me. Also, me being very far ahead. It kind of fits my style. I start to put myself out of position way too often. 
So we have to keep track of our positioning and just change our style a little bit. We're still very, very much ahead, so I don't want to lose that. I'm gonna go for the red buff here. My team is not paying attention. They're still engaging. Kronos is about to die very, very swiftly. He used his ult, which is nice, so good disengage. But overall, that's just a wasted ult. Looks like the whole team is backing, so I can force myself into the mid tower and do some significant damage. No. Nope. Well, Calder didn't stick. That's what I was talking about. At a certain range, he just jumps there and does nothing. And we almost got the tower. It's one hit. So it should have worked, but it didn't. Oh, Arachne is dead. Shivalong and Orlang in right lane. We can just... What is he doing? Is he trolling? Look, he looks like he's trolling. He tries to BM and loses 70% of his health for that, so I guess... Shibalanki is AFK pushing the mid. So I guess we're gonna push till the Phoenix because people are busy in the mid. Oh, Horus Ult. Let's join that. It's always fun. No, never mind. Actually, the hell with it. I'm just gonna go to push the Phoenix because nobody's defending. I don't know why, but like that's a free Phoenix. Yep, nobody's here. I don't know why. I don't give a shit. I do a lot of objective damage with Calder. It's like uh, one and a half of my attack damage, so... I'm gonna pop this as well. With the Calder taking no damage for it. And transition for this fight and eventually the Gold Fury. I'm gonna word it up, get some XP. And now we can fight. He is rooted. He has to dash out back into my team, which is nice. Shibalanki is a lot easier. Oh, okay, that's a lot of people. We got a bail. Sobek is gonna pluck me. Nope. That was the wrong sound. A misplay on my part is fine. Shibalanki is doing a gold fury. What you doing, my man? Yeah, they have ward here. He saw me coming. He's still around. I don't have a ruse. That's his dash. He's forced out. We're gonna pop this and go straight for the Gold Fury. And Arachne is still sitting in her solo lane, defending against fire minions. She is a solo laner with a very poor clear god, so <laughs> she's definitely not the one who should be defending against fire minions. We have a lot of gold. We can bet her back here. So the point being, we need to go for the fire. It looks like Cronus is dead. He has no ult. He's in the middle of the map for no reason. Three people there. We might force ourselves onto the fire giant. But we have zero vision whatsoever. The only word uh, on the team is on myself. So not exactly the optimal way. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Yep, they don't want to contest it. They're pretty much uh, almost 10k behind. They have no morale, so... Looks like Korolang is straight up just trolling. Yeah, that's a wasted horror assault. Raijin is out of position. They have no ward coverage as well. I can chase him down. Okay. He's not rooted. He's afraid. He's very much afraid. He's pushing me outside instead of pushing inwards. That's understandable. He's been murdered enough times this game by me. We're missing Kronos. Unfortunately, Ratatosker is not around. We need to wait for them. Look at these two guardians just walking into... Oh! He's murdered. Good save by Ratat Oscar. I'm still alive, still kicking. Need a run, like big time. We're not building into any life steal, so that's unfortunate. 
Right now we kind of need some life steal, so we're gonna build in the blood forge, high abilities, some life steal, some sustain. Because if I was able to life steal on that speed camp, I probably would have taken the mid phoenix and won that fight that is happening right now with my team running around like mad monkeys and getting murdered one by one. The right phoenix on the enemy team just came up, but it looks like they will be able to defend it. That monkey chase wasn't long enough, so yeah. All their objectives are back, and this game is a stalemate right now. Unfortunate. We're gonna wait and see if somebody comes. She checks up on the blue, she checks up here. We're gonna... Nope, missed, not even a poke. Need to disengage three people around. Uh, Rath Tusker. Oh, she's still coming. She's blinking. What you doing, girl? Get out of here. She wasted her everything and got nothing for it. Well, she got my ult, but it's like one minute cooldown. I had to back. They saw that, so they immediately collapse on the Ymir. Who cannot disengage as fast as he wants. But apparently he's too tanky for them, so... Nothing happens. Attack right lane. Enemies in left lane. Enemies attack right lane. Attack right lane. Uh, for some reason, boys are just forcing themselves into the Phoenix. Apparently their whole team, the, the whole enemy team is gonna go there. So I'm gonna backdoor the Phoenix while they're all busy there. Look at the Calder, five hits. That's a lot of damage. We're just putting this thing down. Another five hits from my ult. That's just perfect. So strong on the backdoor. 10 hits, you can take objectives by your own if you burn your ult. I don't think anyone's surprised. Need to disengage because Horus and Ymir are dead. This fight, if it breaks out, will be bad for us. We can just sneak up the gold here because she's just respawned. They're gonna start rotating here, but it's... Oh, hello, Solbeck. Somebody on the enemy team is actually paying attention, which is unfortunately... Shibalonki's out of position. Hello. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Did he just straight up back, huh? Enemies at the Gold Fury. Gold Fury is going down pretty fast. I might not be there in time. Retreat. The steel. I'm gonna die for it though. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, I got the steel. They're taking all of our tier twos while Shivalanki is split pushing alone in mid against three people. Hello, Erlong. What you doing? I saw you there. He wanted to do the thing that we did to them before. They're gonna lose a lot of health on Titan. Look at that fire minion centering. I think that's two waves just entered the Titan. And Sobek just backed, but he's not very good at defending. So they're still gonna lose like half of the Titan. Good fight for him, but now we can actually force ourselves into the Titan room and take it because it's so poked out. The safer route would be to start with the fire giant, which is what we're gonna do. I got some crit in my build for that ability-based rage characters. Hunters, basically. So, we definitely have that on Scotty to dish out some good auto-attack damage from our crits every once in a while. You should not rely on that, but when you can actually hit people, it's good. Oh, she thinks she can she can solo me again. Didn't we already do that? I think we did. She she's so certain that she can do that, but that happened before. Boy do these people never learn, huh? Oh look at you. Look at him go. And the mid phoenix is down. Sobic is gonna murder here. I definitely cannot do anything to him while he's ulting. 
I can life steal to the best of my ability. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, my team just finished the game, so he wasn't even able to kill me. But boy, was he mad. So in terms of builds, we're going with the Transcendent start, obviously finishing off the boots first. We're going for attack speed boots because those are the stronger boots, despite your thinking, oh, she's an ability based. No, you gotta build that, just doesn't matter. Too much attack speed, too good for its value, and it's also the cheaper boots. Uh, we're going straight into back into Transcendence after that. Hunter's Blessing at this point is finished. We're going into XZ because she's very much ability based and you shouldn't rely much on sustainability until late game. So so you want to dish out the damage penetration and attack speed with a lot of power and execution and helps you with that you go into crusher even more attack speed at this point you can actually box pretty well because you dish out a lot of attacks and it's easier to hit when you do and crusher a lot of additional damage to our abilities they don't have a lot of healers sobek heals a little bit arachne heals in significant amount because she barely does any damage and have power or lung Sheng, his ult of course healing but not anything very much significant so we don't go into beat stick. If they had some healers, we probably would have went for the beat stick instead of crusher. And then we get the 20% CDR and some crits. And we finalize that with some sustain on the blood forge because in the late game you box pretty well. You hit pretty hard. And that's uh, sustain actually helped me throughout many, many fights in this game. Plus the shield if you finish off somebody during the fight is pretty great. And at this point we're sitting at 40% of cooldown. And with the stacked up transcendence and comparatively to the enemy mid was forced oh my man he's over capping on the cdr with a pot he already has 40 percent he's gonna have 50 he's so scared that he built chronos pendant with the breastplate of valor that's very very much unfortunate but yeah he was murdered pretty pretty hard but more more often than not you go breastplate on the mid laner either when you have five physical people against you or you have a loki uh this this is straight up bad he was just scared in terms of kill participation we have 18 out of 33 which is well over 50 percent which is about as optimal as you can go and we're also highest gold on the field which is kind of self-explanatory we went to find this game and in terms of damage uh i'm obviously very much very much top of the field with a 30k comparatively to the enemy mid laner with 18k actually arachne is pretty close she racked up some good numbies on the solo lane but that's understandable she was against the guardian they were just dishing damage on each other nothing really she was actually pretty potent in this uh, in the late game and i feel like she had the most impact and she tried to kill me but she tried to do that one evil well, one versus one twice and yeah that's not how you're gonna kill me unfortunately you don't go <laughs> dueling a scotty in the solo lane during the crucial team fight comparatively our jungler 20k against the enemy jungler 23 he got out damage but it just felt that he's um, uh, our jungle impact was a lot a lot more he's a part of 19 kills which is actually more than i did that's that's something i didn't notice that's very very good he also been uh he also went divine that game so that's pretty nice but his word coverage is very very poor just three wards he didn't even exhaust the free wards same for the re emir who comparatively to the enemy soul laner got out damaged by almost twice the amount and was barely a presence anywhere during that game like most of this game i wasn't even aware we have a emir which is unfortunate our adc and the chronos not the best pickup pretty decent warding in terms of damage comparatively does the same as the enemy adc who also put down a very significant amount of wards actually the highest amounts of wards on the enemy team in terms of structure damage i am also highest on the team despite we having chronos one of the best characters to push objectives with i still have way more damage than he died on the structure and our support is behind the damage same mitigation same pretty pretty much everything else uh same poor ward coverage just five wards from a support is very very bad some additional 4k healing so i guess this game is pretty much on my shoulders i shut down arachne who was dishing out some significant damage to the enemy team i completely annihilated the enemy mid allowing our jungler to also rise along with me and destroy the enemy jungler and Shibalanki and Kronos weren't really a factor in this game. 
So that'll be a Scotty game for you guys. Very, very effective. Quite an insane mid. Oh, my favorite physical mid right now. I just covered her pretty recently. Picked her up, started playing her a lot in mid, and she's just so, so strong. I don't know why I hated her so hard before, but now I just love the girl. And she's my go-to physical in the mid lane. And I very, very strongly believe that she's S tier mid. And I recommend her to everyone. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm think that you like my videos, which is much appreciated. Also like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment if you want to ask me a question. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.